are not pleasant days for residents and businesses in many parts of Lagos. Your darling cosmopolitan city, popularly called Lagos, is under invasion by trucks. Everywhere you turn, on any major highway, they stamp their presence audaciously, causing pain, man are lost, and frustrating commuters who want to go about their legitimate endeavor. For some reasons not very clear on the minds of many, trucks have defied any logical argument, ignored directives of authorities, including the state government, and have converted Lagos major roads into a holding bay for as long as it takes. Initially, it was confined to the Apapa Axis. Today, Ikorodu Road has been invaded, bridges have their own share, and now the entire sixth lane of the Osho, the Apapa Expressway, covering Second Rainbow, Ijesha, Mal 2, Sele, Ilasa, and now Isolo, are all under siege, leaving residents and motorists with hours in traffic gridlock. All of Apapa Road don't block from all the way from Elasa down to Apapa. And now the only road we're using are go here now. They are now turning to that side again to go and block it. What are we heading to in this country? What is happening? Just to refresh our minds, where exactly are they all headed? And how did we get here? The tankers are going to the oil tank farms congregated in Ibafo and Apapa, while the trucks, mainly articulated vehicles carrying empty containers, are heading back to the port to return the empties. So what is the problem? Most petroleum product vessels arrive in the country birth in Apapa, so tankers come from all parts of the country to lift petroleum products. All the roads around the operational vicinity have completely failed, making access a hell experience. Till date, the federal government have made no budget for the repairs of the Tinken Road. Now here is the missing link. All these empties can't possibly get into the port at the same time, owing to bad roads and port operations at the gates. It is also the responsibility by law of the shipping companies to have a holding bay commensurate to the volume of business they handle and envisage, which is not exactly the reality. The truck owners belong to an association. Why are they not organized to own or lease a parking lot rather than expect government to do so for them? The trucks should go. They should leave us by the day. They should leave us by the day. Because they are killing people with the trucks and the rail system is not working. The last administration built this park for trailers opposite Tinkan Gate. Until date, that park is not operational. The police, Federal Safety Commission, Lagos State Transport Management Authority and all other enforcement team don't appear to have a detail into this affected area. Governments can stop everything. There is nothing governments can never do. Whoever challenging governments, nobody is challenging government now. That is property of government. This road is property of government. The truck is property of government. Anywhere they want it to be, that it will be. There are several empty bonded terminals scattered across the state with combined capacity for more than 40,000 containers. Why are they not in use? Will relevant governments and its agencies rise and halt this chaos? Olu Phillips, Channel Television News.